This feels like a hazard. This is week three of Home Chef Throwdown. Dan Stoner Gump did this to me. I must compete in my broccoli suit and I must use only pantry ingredients. And today is sponsored by Red Beard Seasonings by the Dude Network. And we must use zesty anything but the bagel seasoning in this recipe, if that's what you want to call this. I am now fully inflated. Let's begin. We are going to make some sort of a chili cheese situation. I need a cutting board and a knife. This is a hazard. We must limit our exposure around the kitchen because I'm too big to function. I'm going to start with cans of potatoes. I'm not sure how many, I have three. We might use two, we might use three. Is anybody actually gonna make this meal? Probably not. These are whole potatoes. This is very painful because it's squeezing my arms. Drain your potatoes. Chop them up into even size somethings. I'm not going for perfect. I'm going for however I can get out of this suit as fast as humanly possible. I might cut myself out of this suit because I'm starting to panic. I'm not having a good time. I'm not very happy. Sadly, you can't get broccoli in a can, so I won't be using broccoli in this meal tonight. What a shame. At first I thought, wow, a free Halloween costume. I will never be wearing this again. I feel like I am encased in a nightmare. Look at me. This is insane and so uncomfortable. We're gonna call that good because I don't wanna chop anything additional. You're going to open a can of corn and throw it in, but we're going to drain it. I accidentally got creamed corn. I screwed up, all I have is creamed corn, we're going with it. I have chili, no beans, but I should have just gotten chili with beans because I'm gonna add beans to this, so redundancy. I'm gonna put two cans of chili, no beans in here. I don't like this challenge. I'm straight up having a bad time. I hate you, Dan. Vote for anybody but Dan, but specifically vote for me. The link is in my bio. It's under Home Chef Throwdown. My name is Applesauce and ADHD. Many of you don't know that that's my username. That is my username. My arms are hurting so bad. Hang on. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I tried. I did not want to have a full blown anxiety attack in there. I started to panic. I couldn't remember how to put the head back in and then I couldn't see out. I did my best. I'm sorry, I tried. I have a can of pinto beans. I drained them. I didn't rinse them. To my canned smorgasbord, some garlic powder. I would use regular garlic, however, sadly, it's not a pantry staple. I assume spices are. Some minced onion. It'll rehydrate and it's whatever this is. I'm sorry, I really tried. Whew, I think I'm, I did not like that. Next, we're going to add in the zesty everything but the bagel seasoning right in here because I feel like it's gonna be perfect in this, like that much. A little more, for good measure. We're gonna give this a good toss, and this is the filling of our casserole situation. Now, if I wasn't limited, I would definitely add in cheese, but we are going to pop this mixture into a casserole dish. And now, I'm gonna rinse out my bowl because we're just gonna mix the next part right in here. We are going to take a box of cornbread mix and pour it right in. Now, cornbread mix usually needs um, something like milk, which is not a pantry staple, um, also eggs, also not a pantry staple. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna use the can of creamed corn. I was planning on blending a can of corn to make creamed corn, so it works out that I'm stupid and don't know what I'm buying at the store. We're gonna throw the can of creamed corn in here with the can of cornbread mix, and I'm gonna see if I need some evaporated milk in here. We're gonna stir it together and see what happens. Honestly, I think this is gonna be fine, just like this but we're also going to add in more of this zesty bagel right in here. And if you did not know, now you do. If you have a shaker that the things inside the shaker are a little too large, just take the cap and twist. I am going to take my cornbread 
adjacent mixture. And we're gonna try and evenly plop it down. Again, this should be topped with cheese, but instead we're gonna top it with more of this. Whoop, wrong end. For color and texture and pretties, for cute. Is this probably super salty? Maybe, let's pop it in the oven, we'll be back. And if my husband comes home before it's done, I'll put the broccoli suit back on, okay? Here you have it, a pantry staple casserole made with canned potatoes, canned creamed corn, canned chili, no beans, canned beans, and a box of cornbread mix. And I know what you're thinking, is it even good? And it smells good, but that's mainly the zesty bagel. This is gonna save it if there is saving because this has been in the oven for a long time and this top did not wanna cook. So let's try this. My husband's watching me off camera in case I start to have a panic attack again. I'm not joking. I want to see your belly. Is it hot? Yes. Is it pretty good? Also yes, surprisingly. Will I do any of this again? No, I would not make this again, not this way. This is not a recipe I would follow, but the best part about this is this zesty everything bagel seasoning. It definitely has a zip to it. And I love everything bagel seasoning. This would be really good on a breakfast scramble. Too bad I couldn't use eggs. Follow along for more. Not Jessica in a broccoli suit. Vote for me, we need to take Dan down. I don't wanna do this ever again. I hate this.